Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Wind 5, the latest 5-inch racing quadcopter from HLRC. This quadcopter is going to be available soon, both in plug and play and buy and fly versions, and today in this video I'm going to go over its features and head outdoors and test it out. In terms of components, the Wind 5 is using the HLRC Wind 5 hybrid racing frame, which I've recently reviewed, the Cadix Rotel FPV camera, which is protected using this 3D printed TPU part. As for motors, it's using the HLRC Forward FD2306, either 2450 kV or 1600 kV motors. This version is compatible with up to 4S LiPo batteries, and the 1600 kV version is compatible with up to 6S LiPo batteries. The included propellers are the new Gemfan 51499 props. On the center of the quadcopter, you can find on the bottom of the stack the HLRC Dynashot 60 ampere 4 in 1 ESC. On the center, the HLRC Ford F7 flight controller. And on the top, the HLRC Ford VTX. Finally, on the back of the quadcopter, you can find the HLRC Hammer FB antenna. And you can also see that I attached the Crossfire Immortal antenna over here. And in case you're going to get the button fly version, it's going to be bundled with either FlySky or FLSky compatible receivers. The weight of the Wind 5 is 328.2 grams, so it's pretty light. And you should note that I actually assembled this quadcopter by myself, so probably the version that you're going to get is going to look a little bit better. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you how I assembled this quadcopter and then show you the flight footage. And overall, I can tell you that the Wind 5 offers a pretty good value for money because the plug and play version cost $235. And if you're going to buy all the parts separately and assemble it yourself, it's going to cost close to $300. And I think that if you are a beginner who's looking for a solid racing quadcopter without having the need to assemble the quadcopter yourself, I think that the Wind 5 is a pretty good option. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.